In the vast blue seas where battles rage and alliances are tested, one vessel reigns supreme, the aircraft carrier. These floating fortresses are the pride of navies around the world, embodying a nation's might and readiness for battle. Crafted with cutting-edge technology, each aircraft carrier is a testament to human ingenuity. They're not mere warships, they're fully functioning airbases at sea. Capable of launching and retrieving aircraft, these carriers give nations the ability to project their air power far beyond their borders, providing a striking and strategic advantage in modern warfare. Aircraft carriers are not just powerful, they are symbolic. They represent a nation's commitment to safeguarding its interests, defending its allies and maintaining peace. They sail the high seas, a visible reminder of a nation's military prowess and technological advancement. Every carrier is a statement, a declaration to the world that says, we are here, we are ready. But let's not forget these carriers are not just about power and technology. They are home to thousands of sailors, pilots and support staff. They are communities at sea braving the elements, working tirelessly to keep the aircraft carrier and its fleet running smoothly. Their dedication, skill and courage are the true power of these carriers. The world of aircraft carriers is a fascinating one, filled with innovation, competition and a relentless pursuit of supremacy. And in this world, two carriers stand out, the USS Gerald Ford, a behemoth from the United States, and the INS Vikrant, a symbol of India's growing naval capabilities. These two vessels, although from different parts of the world, represent the same quest to safeguard their nations, to project power, and to uphold peace in the volatile seas. They are the epitome of naval engineering, the pride of their respective nations, and a testament to the power of the sea. Today, we focus on two such magnificent vessels, the USS Gerald Ford from the United States and the INS Vikrant from India. The USS Gerald Ford, named after the 38th President of the United States, is a marvel of modern naval engineering. This behemoth of the seas stretches over a thousand feet in length, as long as a skyscraper is tall. She's an impressive sight, with a displacement of about 100,000 long tons, making her one of the largest warships ever built. Now, let's dive into what makes the Ford class tick. The USS Gerald Ford is powered by two A1B nuclear reactors, a significant advancement from the Nimitz-class carriers. These reactors provide a whopping 25% more energy than their predecessors, giving the Ford class the ability to host more powerful and advanced weapon systems. Speaking of armament, the Gerald Ford is packed to the brim with state-of-the-art weaponry. From the RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow Missile System to the Rolling Airframe Missile System, this ship is more than capable of defending herself in a conflict. But the true power of an aircraft carrier lies in its aircraft complement, and the Ford class doesn't disappoint. With the capacity to host more than 75 aircraft, including the formidable F-35C Lightning II, the Ford class is a floating airbase ready to project power across the globe. But it's not just about raw power. The Ford class incorporates a host of advanced technologies designed to improve efficiency and reduce manpower. The Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, or EMAILS, is a prime example. This system offers greater control over launches, allowing for a wider range of aircraft weights and increasing sortie rates. The USS Gerald Ford also features a new island design which has been repositioned and resized to improve flight deck access and increase sortie rates. The advanced arresting gear, improved weapons elevators and enhanced flight deck coatings all contribute to this goal, allowing the Ford class to operate at peak efficiency. The USS Gerald Ford is truly a testament to American naval power, a floating city bristling with the latest in military technology. Whether it's projecting power, defending the homeland, or providing humanitarian aid, the Ford class stands ready to answer the call of duty. Or on the other side of the world, a new contender rises, the INS Vikrant, India's first indigenous aircraft carrier. A marvel of engineering, 
The Vikrant is an embodiment of India's naval aspirations and a testament to the country's growing self-reliance in defense technology. Spanning over 200 meters in length with a displacement of around 40,000 tons, the Vikrant is a formidable vessel. Its design allows for a complement of up to 30 aircraft, including helicopters and fighter jets, offering a significant boost to India's air power at sea. The Vikrant's propulsion system is a testament to India's engineering prowess. It features a combination of gas turbines and diesel engines, enabling the carrier to reach speeds of up to 28 knots. Further, the Vikrant is equipped with a range of sophisticated weaponry. From close-in weapon systems for defense against aerial threats to missile systems capable of a multi-role spectrum, the Vikrant is a vessel of power and versatility. Crafting the Vikrant wasn't an easy journey. There were challenges, as there are with any path-breaking venture. The procurement of materials, the development of a suitable propulsion system, and the integration of a complex array of systems and weaponry were all hurdles that needed to be overcome. But each challenge was met with determination and ingenuity, and the end result is a carrier that stands as a testament to India's technological abilities. But the Vikrant is more than just a collection of stats and figures. It represents a step forward for India, a sign of the country's growing capabilities on the world stage. It's a message to the world that India is ready to take its place as a major naval power. The Vikrant is still in its nascent stages, with sea trials and further testing needed before it's fully battle-ready. It's not without its flaws, and there's still a long way to go. But each step forward is a victory in itself, a sign of progress and ambition. The INS Vikrant, while still in its nascent stages, is a symbol of India's growing naval capabilities and aspirations. It stands as a beacon of India's potential, a promise of what the country can achieve with determination, innovation and a vision for the future. Now. As we compare these two naval behemoths, it's crucial to understand the differences in their design, capabilities, and strategic implications. Starting with the USS Gerald Ford, this American Goliath is the world's largest and most advanced aircraft carrier. Spanning over a thousand feet in length, it can house more than 75 aircraft and is powered by two nuclear reactors. Equipped with state-of-the-art weapon systems and technology, it serves as a formidable symbol of American naval power. On the other hand, we have the INS Vikrant, India's first indigenous aircraft carrier. While smaller than the Gerald Ford at about 850 feet in length, it still packs quite a punch. Powered by four gas turbines, the Vikrant can accommodate up to 30 aircraft. The Vikrant may not match the Gerald Ford in terms of size or capacity, but it represents a significant leap forward for India's naval capabilities. Now, let's talk about differences. The Gerald Ford utilizes Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System emails, for aircraft deployment, a technology that offers faster launch and recovery times. The Vikrant, however, still uses the traditional short takeoff but arrested recovery Stobar system. In terms of defensive capabilities, the Gerald Ford boasts an array of advanced missile systems and electronic warfare suites. The Vikrant, while equipped with missile systems and anti-submarine warfare capabilities, could benefit from further enhancements in its defensive arsenal. So where does the Vikrant fall short? Primarily, the Vikrant's aircraft capacity and launch system could see improvements. Increasing the carrier's capacity and adopting more advanced aircraft launch systems like the emails would significantly enhance the Vikrant's operational efficiency and combat readiness. However, it's important to remember that the Vikrant is a monumental achievement for India. It symbolizes India's growing naval prowess and self-reliance in defense manufacturing. While the INS Vikrant may not yet match the USS Gerald Ford, it is a significant step for India towards a future of naval dominance. As we conclude our comparison, it's clear that while India has made impressive strides, there's still a long journey ahead. In the world of naval warfare, aircraft carriers are the kings of the ocean. 
They symbolize a nation's power and ambition, embodying their maritime prowess. Today, we have explored two such giants of the sea, America's USS Gerald Ford and India's INS Vikrant. The Gerald Ford stands as a testament to American ingenuity and technological advancement. With its nuclear power, advanced launch system, and state-of-the-art radar, it is a formidable presence on the high seas. It is a symbol of America's continuing dominance in the arena of naval power. On the other hand, the INS Vikrant represents a significant milestone for India. It is the country's first indigenously built aircraft carrier and a testament to the nation's growing technological capabilities. While it may not yet match the Gerald Ford in terms of advanced technology, it still stands as a formidable testament to India's naval progress. However, the journey is far from over for India. There are areas where the country needs to improve. The Vikrant's propulsion system, radar capabilities, and aircraft launch system still have room for advancement to match global standards. It's not just about matching the Ford. It's about advancing and innovating for the future. Yet, despite these challenges, it's crucial to remember that Rome wasn't built in a day. India's journey in the realm of naval technology is still in its infancy, and the Vikrant is a significant leap forward. It is a symbol of India's resolve to protect its maritime interests and project power far beyond its shores. And so, let us conclude with a sense of pride and patriotism. Let us take a moment to appreciate the strides India has taken and the journey that lies ahead. The road may be long and winding, but with determination and resolve, there's no doubt that India will rise to the occasion. The INS Vikrant is not just a ship, it's a symbol of India's resolve and a promise of the power and prestige that lies